Hello, everybody. My name is Al DePaulo, and I'm the Partner Products Manager over here at Bobcad Cam. Today, I wanted to take a quick look at our engraving features and how you can accomplish a step down. So, uh, in this example, I, I just have the Bobcad logo, and let's say I want to engrave this. So, you know, I'll run this through the stock wizard, and I'll go ahead and, you know, pick my zero. So, I have my stock set up which I'm sure if you've watched some of my other, other videos, you'd be familiar with this. And what I want to do is just engrave this. So what I'm going to do is load a two axis engraving routine and I can select the geometry that I want to work with. And I can go to my tool and I can go to my tool crib and I'm going to pick a, you know, a, a cutter here. I'll go ahead and edit my tool size. No big deal. So I got a, I got an engraving tool here. And if you notice with the parameters, we only have one depth option. Okay. Now, sometimes <clears throat> that will be sufficient. You can just set your value there, compute your tool path, and you can see you have your engraving happening. But the, what if you want to have it rough it out? What if you want to step it down or take multiple steps to put that path into your part? Well, you could, instead of using engraving, you could use a profile feature. But the problem with the profile feature is you only have the option for an end mill rough or an, an end mill finish. So when you run it through the simulation, uh, you won't be able to simulate uh, a V-tip cutter, uh, like a center drill or whatever tool you're using to do your engraving. Now, when you're in profiling, you have a total depth, but then you also have multiple steps to get down to the bottom. So we could set a depth and then we can give it multiple steps to get down to the bottom. But you don't have that option when we get into engraving under parameters, you don't have that option. So how do you handle this? Well, it's really kind of simple. You could set your total depth to zero. So this one's going to cut right on zero and then we can right click on our feature engrave and we can add a toolpath pattern. Now in this case, there's three different options that we have for patterns. We want to choose a translate next. And then <clears throat> what we're going to say is how many steps down, let's say we want to take three steps down and then we can give it the increment of our step down minus 0 0.005 and okay so what this has done is it's create a, uh, created a toolpath pattern uh, starting at zero there's one pass on zero and then it steps down three times so and you can use this pattern in a variety of different ways but this is uh, how I'm using it for the engraving routine so when I simulate this I, I can simulate it with a, a v-tip cutter now you may be saying to yourself well you don't want to cut at zero you want to cut down to you know, you don't want to cut a pass of air. You want it to cut down two passes at X amount. So what I'm going to do here is go back and set what my depth is. We'll say 0.01. Eh, we'll say 0 0.05. 0 0.005. I don't know. Whatever. We'll put a value in there and compute. And then our toolpath pattern, we'll just make this one copy minus 0 0.005. Click OK. Now we have two passes in order to get down to the bottom. So using your toolpath pattern, you can easily adjust uh, the number of step downs that you want to take uh, for your engraving routine.